Hello and welcome. I have here the next part of the uh, DIY LED project. Uh, although a little late as it's been a bit of a strange yet interesting couple of weeks, to say the least. If you wish to view the other videos in this series, uh, the videos are all around me in the annotations. Alternatively, you can click on the links below in the description. So here is the progress. Let's go see. Both the panels complete uh, and they both have the, the wires here, everything's done. Right, so what I need to do now is just attach the circuitry on it, wire everything up now, which shouldn't be that much. I mean, it was a more tedious task last time, this time not so bad, you know, I'm expecting it to be done pretty quick. Um, and it's just the final touches after that. So first things first. Right, so I need to turn one of these over upside down and first of all to heat the glue gun up, which I should have done. It's already plugged in, just switch it on. Let's move that to Screw the power supply on the back of one of the panels. All the circuitry on the back of one of them. So one of them is going to be a little bulky to be honest. This power supply has got some weird mounting system. In okay, so that screw is in there and this hooks on here hopefully as if it's a clock on the wall I'm not a big fan of how this thing mounts on here because it doesn't feel stable but at least these two screws down here go directly inside attaching onto the wood okay that's actually not bad it's it's quite <laughs> it's gonna take some serious strength to rip this thing off here Alright, so all I want to do here is just one tiny blob of um, gl hot glue on a part of the PCB which has not got any contacts. Stop this sliding around and once you've got that, what you want to do is just screw two parts of it in. I'm just gonna do the diagonal screws, like one on this top and one on that. I'm not gonna do all four. And not to do this tight because it'll warp the board and probably snap it. Right, to link each of the panels up, all I'm gonna do is use an, a usual DC um, adapter plug and socket. I'm gonna have to think of some sort of cable management system to, to kind of like um, sort out the cable for this because it's gonna be like a huge wire sticking out. So uh, what I need to all I need to do with this for the other panel, just parallel it to this output here. This output here, I'm just gonna like do a parallel connection. The wiring and all this is just is all connected and it's all done. So what I need to do now is just basically solder this wire onto so just pushing this into the casing here which is proving a little bit Ooh. so that's good we just need to tin these
That's all I need on this second panel is the socket, the DC um, adapter socket. I think this will be sturdy enough. Let me put this is epoxy putty. So basically, if you like plaster scene or play doh, and just like epoxy resin, you have two parts that you you know you putty together, you kind of mix together, and uh, what you have to do then is um, mold it into whatever shape you want. And by you know after about uh, 24 to 48 hours, it will basically just you know solidify and become like rock. So you can, you know, it's very good for things like this. It's very good for, I'm going to have to use some anyway. So I will think I will use some on this to reinforce. So I can just like, you know, every time I need to use it, just do that. Right. All I need to do now is just connect the, the power. Connect the plug into that and let's see if the book if they both work this to do both work freaking amazing i'm not gonna just leave it bare like this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put uh perspex i'm gonna have to connect a fan to this um buck converter this this regulator here because What's ha what's happening is the heat sinks are eeks, getting a little on the toasty side. I feel a little more safer about these because they're having some air blowing on them. And that's not a new way I'm filing my nails. That's, that's because there's a piece of glue there I'm trying to get rid of. So it's the next day and um, the the epoxy resin here, the epoxy putty, has actually uh, hardened. It's just like rock now. <laughs> so it's very good for the cables. It's not, you know, it's a good uh, protector. So that's, you know, I'm glad that's worked out. Okay, the next stage is the Perspex. I actually um, got these custom cut to the right size, to the size of this. They're gonna be the, the uh, thingy for the front covers. This is actually clear, it's just got some backing paper on it. So that, what I'm gonna have to do is very carefully drill some, drill four holes so that I get to uncountersink them, uh, so that I can get, you know, be able to screw it on there. Whoa. It's like bent and broken. How the have I managed that? The last time I checked, I'm not freaking, you know, Miss Jane. Tarzan was not my husband. So I think the drill bit is actually, you know, broken itself. It's actually weak and old or whatever. But what I'm gonna have to do is just wait a few days uh, to get the proper drill back, the, the big drill, and do it with that because this, <laughs> this is just not happening today. Right, so here I am, a different day and a better drill. Now to countersink the holes so that I can get the uh, screw heads flush in. I've done is I've drilled a hole and I've countersunk it. Countersunk basically what you're doing is you're sort of beveling. When you bevel the hole from the inside as in you do a dip and you put one of these screws in what happens is it actually goes in and the head is flush against you know so there's no head of the screw sticking out. Wow it's twice I've turned this tape around. <laughs> What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to remove the, can you see the part where it just says acrylic and it's got this writing on it? 
I'm gonna approve. I'm gonna approve. I'm going to remove. I'm gonna re remove uh, the label part. However, there is actually a another layer which you can peel off and remove. But I'm actually not going to remove this one. And this is to diffuse the light. So I'm gonna leave this on as it is, and I will demonstrate later on the difference in light. Right. So the next step is putting these uh, tripod screw threads in. So you, know, you can see there, they have a bit of thing protruding out and they have a circular thing here. Right. right, some more millipod is needed, more epoxy resin is needed to put inside the hole. Once this becomes rock solid, the link between this and the the wood is going to be very robust basically i'm just gonna like stuff it in this hole so put this in this uh thing it will just spread out and what i'll do is i'll put some between the wood and the plastic too so that it kind of so that when it sets, it's going to be rock solid on this as well. So this is going to be good. Yeah, that's going to be strong enough. Just need to let that set for like uh, 24 hours at least. Before I mess around with it. Just like put this inside, underneath. Right, okay. That is pretty tough. Now, if I let this, correction, when I let this epoxy putty um, set and solidify, it's gonna be like rock solid, nothing's gonna shift this. So let's just kind of. Right, so just stuff the epoxy putty in there and then screw this in so that any gap in between that is filled with epoxy resin. I love this millipad. <laughs> it's actually very versatile. You can just... I tend to use it with everything. I was one of those people who kind of used blue tack uh, or you know the sticky tack which you stick on the walls. I just used to use that with everything. <laughs> and this is just the version of blue tack or, or a sticky putty or whatever you call it the stuff you stick posters on the wall with this is just a version of that that turns into rock solid so <laughs> it's just perfect for me <laughs> i sound like a freaking saleswoman for uh milliput but i'm not i assure you <laughs> so we have everything actually done to be honest because we have the um the front panels you know are ready and to screw in the front and these just need to set now once these have set i will demonstrate everything with the front panels and all so until then 